Welcome to App of the Day, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Today's app is called Space Junk. Space Junk! Junk in space. It's like Space Jam, but it's junk. It's like what's in astronauts' pants. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Dehydrated, right? Yeah. Uh, so Space Junk is, uh, well, right now it's just a globe and it shows where things are. Oh, look, oh, the Hubble the, Space the Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope. It's over the South Pacific someplace because there's Hawaii uh -huh. and there's it's, Antarctica. It's, Oh, I guess Hubble is still in the air. Yeah. Mirror is not. Mirror is gone. Mirror crashed. Mirror, mirror is somewhere like right around in here. Yeah. In this big blue. Uh, mirror is on eBay. Uh, pretty much, yeah. So the neat thing about this is it shows orbits of satellites. The Every other satellite. We have a lot of satellites. We have in space. a lot of satellites. A the, f ton of satellites. The other neat thing about this, you remember that Google Sky thing? Yeah. Sure. Sky With maps. Augmented reality. Yeah. So this is the same thing. Okay, you're moving it around. I'm oh, moving okay. it around. You, no, now using there's just the a picture of my crotch Okay. because I'm using the gyroscope. Actually, I don't. I don't think there's a gyroscope in the iPad too. But there's the, a gyroscope. Is there? I thought too. it was just a accelerometer. Yeah, gyroscope. Um, but anyway, it's light out here right now. But if I was looking up in this direction, mm -hmm. I would be able to see the moon. I'm waving the iPad around. Yep. There's a late night uh, red viewing mode. Oh, why is there a red viewing mode? Uh, so that you don't blow out your night vision when you're looking at the stars at night. Oh. So you can use this to see things. And look, see, it tells me which way. That way is down. Which uh -huh. is through the planet. Okay. Just like in yes. uh, Lost in Space. You have to go through the planet. I guess that works. Um, I'm going to take it out of night vision mode because that's annoying. But the thing that I've been doing with, with this uh, uh, sp uh, space junk, mm -hmm. I've used this combined with Twist, T-W-I-S-S-T, -S -S a Twitter account that will tell you when the uh, International Space Station is flying overhead. Okay. To... Uh, see the space station fly overhead. Ah. Oh. So, for example, it told me that tomorrow morning at about 6.05 a.m., mm -hmm. ISS is going to fly over San Francisco. Okay. And it says it's going to show up from the west. Uh, well, the polar orbit, the way polar orbits work, means that the International Space Station flies over every point of Earth every day. Every point of the Earth? Every point of the Earth at some point every no day. No way. Yes, way. Oh, flies over. Oh, okay. it flies over. Not it, directly over, but not, from every point you can see it. From every point you can see it. Okay. Now, when you're seeing sp uh, satellites in low Earth orbit, the only time you can see them is when it's the sun's getting ready to come up or the sun's mm -hmm. getting ready to come down, or, or has just gone down. Yep. So you need dusk or dawn, dawn or basically, dusk. for polar yep. satellites. Yep. Uh, so frequently, if you see like something that's moving really, really fast across the sky, like maybe a 90-second or two-minute transit, mm -hmm. that's frequently a satellite in low Earth orbit. Not a shooting star. Not Don't a shooting star. Shooting stars are much faster than that. You can also use this to find planets and uh, constellations, stuff like that. How many satellites can it show, does it show? It's not uh, private satellites. So this is the cheap free version of the software, which shows uh, fewer things than than I like. Basically, it's ISS and Hubble and planets. Okay. Uh, if you get the full version, which I think is called uh, Space Map, Space Three Map, then you can see more stuff. But I can aim over here. Because I know there are a ton of satellites. In, I mean, we've all seen Wally, -E, right? It's all junk up there. Yeah, you're not going to see. It's not. Well, there's not a cloud like that. Um, or not what you would describe as a cloud. Uh, you, you, basically, it's Google Space Map, Sky Map mm. for iOS. You remember Under Siege 2 when the guy hacked the satellites and then made us destroy our own satellites? Per many earlier conversations, I've never seen Under Siege 2. <sighs> I know. I don't know that I even saw Under Siege 1. Is that the one where he's a cook on a he's train? He's always a cook. No, the Under Siege 1 is when he's on the boat. Oh. Why is and, he always a cook? That's super racist. Um, Why, he's a cop now. No, he's... Well... Well, there's other issues with Steven Seagal that we probably shouldn't get into. Also a musician. Uh, but yeah. Space Junk. So Space Junk's free. Twist is free. Follow Twist on Twitter. Make sure the location in your profile is correct in order for it to work. Again, it's T-W-I-S-S-T. -S -S mm -hmm. And what it'll do is just send you an app message when there's going to be a good sighting opportunity for ISS in your area mm. or the area that you With say those powers in. combined, yeah. you can spot satellites. Yeah. And also Saturn, which is back there right over the Earth. So if I was in a, a geosynchronous orbit over the East Coast, I'd be able to see Saturn right now. This has been App of the Day. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. And beyond.